guys, welcome back. Um, today I thought I would do a kind of a short, simple video um, talking about my tattoo and piercings because um, I really enjoy watching these videos and I find it really interesting and people talking about their piercings and their tattoos and stuff. I don't have masses of tattoos and piercings or anything, um, but I just wanted to talk about my experience with tattoos and piercings and whatever and um, my reasoning behind my tattoo and stuff because people ask me what it means and things. You guys enjoy this video and let's get cracking. This is my ear. Um, in terms of piercings, I got my lobes done on both sides when I was like 10, I think. Um, and then I got my tragus. The lobes were absolutely fine, like I can't even really remember them much. They're completely healed obviously because I'm like 20 this year. This is my tragus piercing which is just through the cartilage here which is obviously a, a ring which is titanium steel I think. Um, I go to the same piercer every time so um, this is completely healed now pretty much. Um, for a while it gave me a lot of problems, it kept going really like crusty and horrible around here um, but I just bathed it with like salt solution and used um, hydrogen peroxide, I'll show you briefly. Um, I used both surgical spirit, like I'm finding surgical spirit to work better but for ages I was using hydrogen peroxide solution. I also have my helix done which is here which still causes me a little problem sometimes. Um, but that's healing a lot nicer now than what it used to, especially fancy the um, surgical spirit. Um, in terms of like pain wise here, this, every time he's done ear piercings on me, he's always frozen them, so I haven't felt them overly. Um, but sleeping on this one was really painful. Um, it's fine now, but like, for ages that was really painful um yeah this is my rook piercing which is essentially a bar in my ear here so that's my rook um it's still healing now i got this done early june time mid june um and this i remember being quite uncomfortable when they pierced it he froze it but it was still really quite painful um it wasn't like really excruciatingly painful or anything but it was just really uncomfortable um you put a bar through it you can get it either pierced with like a ring or whatever but i wanted it with a bar which was a bit more expensive um but i wanted it to vary from the rest um and that is my rook which still plays me up now i have to clean it like every day um but when I first got it done, it got really infected, it wasn't nice. Um, it was really, 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 really painful to the point where I really wanted to take it out. Um, it swelled my ear all up, it wasn't nice. Um, but it's fine now. Um, it's getting there. Um, I still clean it with surgical spirit and whatever, and it's, it looks a lot better. So yeah, that's my pierced ear. My other side, I'm yet to get piercings on. I haven't had that pierced overly yet. Oh, let's zoom out. I haven't had that like pierced much. As of yet. The first thing I have is my nose. Um, I got this done um, over a year ago. I got this done July 2015. Um, I had a hoop, I'm sorry, I stud in it for ages and I only recently changed it to a hoop. Um, but this, I'd say I, it got pierced really wrong. Oh god, I'm really bad at zooming. Um, he, it went really wrong, and like this rarely ever happens, and obviously it would only happen to me. Um, it was all going really like fine and everything, and I, I took my mum with me, um, and it was going fine. I was just sat there, and um, he was like, "Okay, like it's just going to be a pinch, whatever." And um, he froze it and stuff, so I didn't really feel it overly. Um, but then I was sat there with my eyes shut, facing this mirror, because like I don't want to look, um, and then. Uh, he was like, oh, the jewellery snapped. And so I opened my eyes to face this mirror and there's this like massive needle going through my face. So I sat there like, whoa. Um, and I felt really queasy. It wasn't nice. Um, afterwards, I had to just kind of lie down on the bed and I just like the, like the, the mat bit. And I was just feeling really, really ill. The healing process was okay. Um, at first it got a little bit infected because I kept putting foundation and makeup near it. Um, but now I completely avoid doing that. Like I try and do my makeup around my nose. When I first tried to change it into a hoop like in November, December time last year it made me feel really queasy um, because I don't think it was completely healed properly and I tried to change it and I felt really faint and dizzy um, but now it's completely healed like it's absolutely fine there's like I can just touch it and there's nothing wrong with it it's completely healed which is great. And finally I'm um, talking about my tattoo which is on the back of my, my neck 
area. It went a lot better than I thought it would do. I've always wanted tattoos, but it was a case of just deciding what I wanted. Um, and I was reading up on different like meanings to do with anxiety um, and both femininity and self-expression and self-acceptance and stuff across this idea of the lotus, which is essentially um, the lotus flower um, grows um, in like murky, dirty water, it ends up flowering into something really beautiful. And I kind of associate that really with life and life being challenging and life being difficult. Um, and it can end up working out in your favour and you have to get through the bad times in order to appreciate the good essentially. It wasn't painful as such. At times it was a little bit uncomfortable, like when um, it got to a stage where I was kind of like, I kind of want it to stop now. <laughs> like I was sat there and I was just like a bit like, Meh. I kind of want them to stop. Um, cause it, it, it did take, it felt like it took quite a while. Um, but it wasn't painful. Like I was expecting the worst and it wasn't painful. It was just a little bit uncomfortable at times. The healing process was completely fine. Like I was expecting it to not be very good. I was asking like, what do I do? Like, how do I look after it? Um, I kept like the cling film and stuff on for a couple of hours. I was just using like thick moisturizer cream um, and just body lotions and things and it's completely fine. Um, and it didn't cause me any problems at all. It wasn't particularly painful afterwards. It felt a little bit sensitive, but it was absolutely fine. Like it was a little bit bloody and everything, um, but it was fine afterwards, like it was okay. So um, yeah, so if you have any more questions and stuff regarding my tattoo or my experience with tattoos and stuff, then feel free to ask. That's all from me for today. This was a really random video, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, feel free to um, ask any questions down below of my experience. You guys are all doing well and I shall see you again soon. Okay, bye.